My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is Bright in the Edge. Good morning. We're at a high mountain lake, the Cascades of Oregon. For my annual visit to this little lake. And for the last three or four years, I've come here around the same time. The first time I came, I got exactly what I was looking for. And ever since, I have not been able to replicate that experience. Looks like I'm still a week or two too early <laughs> to get here what I wanted to photograph. So right now I'm I'm working on some reflection shots with these these trees across the uh, across this little lake. The air is real calm right now, so I'm getting some nice kind of like painterly reflections of these white dead trees across the way. That's about the best I'm going to get here today. Now, if I get lucky, we might get a little mist on this lake. I got up at three clock this morning. It's about a 65 mile drive from my house. And I always come here for a specific shot. And even though that shot isn't going to happen today, I'm going to make do with what I with what I got and with the conditions I have. This is a good example of ooh, mosquitoes. <laughs> this is a good example of going to uh, the same location over and over again. And every time you come, it looks different because of the lighting or the weather. Now, a real bonus would be, since it's a pretty chilly morning right now, is uh, getting some mist coming off of this lake. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Just to get a little bit of atmosphere to make the shot just a little bit better. It does look like there's something forming a little bit out there. Hopefully it's worth getting up at three in the morning for. Photography this time of year is <laughs> it's a challenge. The sunset's really late and it gets up really early. I think the main reason this shot really works is the contrast of the white trees and the really dark water. I think there's gonna it's just kind of a natural contrast in the scene. That mist pops in and pops out. It's, it's not it's not it's not really uh, developing like I'd like to see it. But it still could happen. It's, it's cold and the sun hasn't, once the sun hits the water, it might, it might give us a little bit of that. But even if it doesn't, the reflections I think are gonna be a nice kind of abstract, painterly feel image, <laughs> if that's a thing. I don't see a lot of other shots here. I've been here many times and 
I've taken a lot of different photos here. So this video is probably just going to have one or two shots from, from this scene. It's really hard to predict where the water levels are going to be on this lake from year to year. And last year I came here and it was about like this. I thought, well, it's probably about two weeks from uh, the shot I want. So I, I came back two weeks later and it was too late. The year I came here and got the shot I was looking for, I came two weeks in a row and it was still doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Well, I guess I better take a picture. That looks like that miss is trying to, trying to form. Anyway, the, uh, so it just, you just never know how fast the lake is going to drop. I could come next week and it, it could still be just like this if it gets some rain or something. I could come back in two weeks and it could be almost completely gone. It's just, it's just bizarre how I've had so much trouble getting the timing right. And I have a photograph and I've, I've talked about it in videos before, but I'd like to see if I can do something a little different, shoot it just in a different way, maybe get a longer exposure, try to improve on the shot that I have. It may never happen. <laughs> and the shot I have may just be the shot I have. I'd like to shoot it with my, with a film. I'd like to shoot it with a different lens. And maybe try a longer exposure. Maybe put an ND filter on. So there's a lot of different types of shots I want to make here. If I can just get the timing right. But I think I'm going to take this time real quick to do a little update for my channel. And explain why you haven't seen as much content over the last month. It's just been a really chaotic, kind of rough month. <laughs> Basically, I've taken work outside of photography. First time I've had to do that in 27 years. Sometimes it's, it's what you got to do. And to compound the difficulties, we are uh, trying to get our house prepared to sell. And we've lived in this location for 20 years. So, you can imagine how much work we've got to do. <laughs> getting, getting everything ready to sell and then get everything boxed up, ready to move. So, over the next month or two, I probably won't be able to produce as much content as I have in the past. Just because of, there's no time when it comes down to it. I just, I'm not going to be able to get out and take photographs like I normally do. So hopefully you can hang with me for a couple months so we can get through this difficult time, get everything settled down. Once we get moved, I should be able to get back to uh, getting out and taking more photographs and uh, producing more content for the channel. I'm to the point now where I'm only working on personal projects um, and photography that I feel passionate about. Since I'm working outside of photography right now, I just don't have the time to do a lot of uh, other photography other than the photography that I find that is important to me. And that's what I put in this channel anyway, so that, that shouldn't interfere with the content that comes out. So if you can hang with me for just a little bit till we get things settled down and the mosquitoes. So if you can hang with me just a little bit till we get things settled down, uh, we'll get back to making some, some content. I think this scene's pretty much done. But it was a nice morning. It was nice to come out and take some pictures. I haven't been out with the camera for, for a good three or four weeks, so it's, it's been nice to, uh, to get out. So I'm going to end today's video right here. Until next time, 
Thanks for coming along for the ride.